Hello, good evening. Thank you for joining me again. I think I may have mentioned before, possibly yesterday, that last year I began no dig gardening. It's great for the environment, it's great for the health of your soil, and it's also great for your back because it means you don't have lots of heavy digging to do. Most people who are into no dig will have heard of a person called Charles Dowding. He is very knowledgeable about this way of gardening and has created lots of videos on his YouTube channel to help people who are trying to get into this way of working to do it as well as possible. I'm obviously a bit slow on the uptake because I've only recently discovered Charles Dowding and his YouTube channel. And at the moment, where other people binge watch well-known TV series, I am binge watching no dig gardening videos. Feel free to tell me that I am sad if you like, but I am very much enjoying myself. One of the short videos I watched last night was about potatoes. I wanted to watch it last night, partly because it was my intention to plant my early potatoes today, which I have done. And I couldn't really understand how you could do potatoes without digging, especially, and I know this is not for now, but especially when it comes to harvesting them. I don't know whether you've ever grown potatoes, but if you have, I'm guessing that like me, you would probably normally harvest them by sticking a fork or a spade in somewhere around the side of the plant, loosening the earth and bringing the potatoes to the surface. And I am guessing that if you have ever done that, you will probably also have had the experience of spiking a potato on your fork or slicing it in half with your spade. Apparently the no dig way of doing this is that you simply pull the plant, wiggling it about slightly as you pull, and most of the potatoes will come out with the plant. And for those that don't, you ferret around in the soil, either with your hands or very gently with a trowel if you really need to. Well, thinking about this last night and this afternoon as I planted the potatoes, I was reminded of a short story that I'm sure you will have heard before, but it's just too good not to share again. Once upon a time, a gardener worked for a heart surgeon. The heart surgeon was an atheist, not believing in God at all, while the gardener was a person of faith. The two of them got on remarkably well together, considering their different outlooks on life, and they often had friendly arguments about the nature of life and spirituality and faith. One day, the heart surgeon thought he had an argument that would finally settle the matter. And he said to the gardener, I hear you talk about the soul of a person, but let me tell you that in the course of my career, I have cut open many human hearts, but not once have I found a soul inside. The gardener looked thoughtful. Well, he replied, that may well be true, but I have to tell you that in the many years that I have worked in your garden, I have often accidentally sliced through a buried daffodil bulb or such like with my spade, but I have never once seen a flower inside them. I have never cut open a potato and found a potato plant inside but I believe that God created them so that if I plant one at the right time and in the right conditions, then a potato plant and new potatoes will indeed emerge. And I'm believing for that later this year. As ever, I'm gonna finish with a prayer. And as ever, if you'd like to make it yours, feel free to stick an amen in the comments. Or if you've been planting, tell me what you've been planting today. Father God, Thank you that there is more inside each one of us than can be seen. And thank you for the miracle of natural growth. Amen. Thank you for joining me. See you again tomorrow, I hope. Bye for now.